Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz and I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another Nerdio Wednesday. We are coming towards the end of the year now. Um, by the time this video comes out, I think. So, um, as you've been, people have been following, every Wednesday recently I've been going through my top 10 Nerdio Manager for Enterprise or NME features. We're on the last two now, so this is number nine technically. And uh, th so there's one, there's one, there's one feature I always go on about. I ramble on about this and people who watch my content will understand, will know what I'm on about. And they'll be like, oh, why has he not mentioned it yet? Saving it towards the end, don't worry. Um, but yeah, this is my top 10 features. And today is that feature that I want to talk about. Yes, it's scripted actions. People who, you know, it's what I love it. I, don't be surprised if this is number one on my list, right? That's all I'm saying when it comes to the, the ranking. I'm not saying it is, but don't be surprised if it is. <laughs> so as you can see, we're an enemy here. Uh, we want to go down to scripted actions and these are so powerful and this is this is in the back end it's just automation scripts right it's just powershell scripts azure run books etc but it's so cleverly done i mean you can integrate this with your your um your imaging your application deployments um your update management any everything you can just add you know do you want to run you can run scripted actions along with it so for example i think i showed with the uh, intelligent um Auto scaling, how you can run a script, you know, while it's upload, you know, while it's deploying, while it's, you know, de de deploying more um, session hosts. Same with your update management, you can deploy scripts as into the image. Um, it might be AV, you know, it might be a AVD agent, it might be adding a disk or whatever. Um, and this is so powerful. Like if you can just look at some of them here, disabling session time limits. Is a, and again, these are, a lot of these have come from customers making feature requests. Um, so install NVIDIA GPU driver for Azure Local. That'll be quite a new one there. Install OneDrive sync per machine. These are just some of the ones I've created. You can do a scripted action yourself as well. So you can call it, call it whatever, uh, NME demo, let's just call it, same description. Um, put it in there. And then here's where we can put any tags we might want in. Is it app installs, chocolatey, custom, these are tags that are already in here. Um, FS Logics, HCI, Microsoft, Nerdio. Um, give it whatever tag you want. Let's just put Microsoft. Scripted action modes, it combines the individuals, the individual restart, depends on what you're trying to do, right? Do you want to enable Cloud PC with this? So this is basically when enable Cloud PC script policy will be created and assigned, it will be updated each time the scripted action or settings below changes. So let's just say this is for Cloud PC, right? Run the script using the, the logged on credentials and for script signature check, run the script easy for a bit at PowerShell. Um, and then the task will add an assignment to the selected groups in Intune, ensure the only uh, that you only target cloud PC devices or exclusive cloud PC users. So uh, let's just you know that from my other kind of Windows 365 security stuff I'm doing, you know, um, well that's not group, sorry. Uh, although I have an AVD group, but we know um, that specifically um, selected groups. Oh, where's it gone? You know, it's not going well. Uh, let's scroll again, let's put that in there. Clicked away from it and I'll just went to pot. Uh, put have a tag, let's go Microsoft tags. Let's enable that. Um, and here we can, let's just assign it to the AVD user group. Um, so I've got an AVD user group, right? But you can assign it to, so let's just say that's my Windows 365 Cloud PC group. You can exclude assignments as well. And here's where you can basically put the script in. So say you have a, a ready-made script you want to put in there. It might be an install script, might be an uninstall script, might be to update it or whatever. You would put it in there. Um, and then you've got the script parameter builder here as well, which you can do. So again, being able to build uh, yourself a scripted action, or you can just use one of the many, many, many built-in ones, right? Um, it's just about automating management tasks that you want to add to maybe some of the tasks you're doing. Just saving your time, default language. These are all like, you know, part of the image you can do. So install language pack, install enable FS logics, loads of stuff. You've got loads of Azure run books as well, shrink FS logic profiles, um, back up the app, reinstall AVD agent, loads and loads of stuff. So just really, really cool. And, and don't be surprised if this makes it to number one for me, right? But um, when I do my when I do my um, hierarchy list of it and put them in order. So scripted actions is number nine. We have one more left before this little mini series is over, which I'll be doing next week. Um, and you know what? As I'll also I'll also do a giveaway as well. Let's try and do a giveaway of my 
uh, the Nerdio sort of um, t-shirt, the, the 50k subscriber one uh, that I did with, with Nerdio. So I'll do a giveaway at the end of, of, of this little mini-series at number 10. Um, so please do give you know, drop a comment in the video with, with, with what you think of scripted actions. Where does this lie in your list? Um, also, those useful links in the description, link to my LinkedIn profile, link to my exam topic series, which is just, well, my, my members, so join a member, I've got all my exam topics in there around Microsoft certifications, all the fundamentals I've done, all the associate level exams that I've, topics that I've covered, and the uh, so expert level as well. So have a look at those, join if you're going to be, join as a member, join my community if you are going to be doing those any of those exams also um i'll put a link into the documentation on scripted actions as well why i got people who are watching my videos are subscribed i don't see why if you're a regular viewer get subscribed you know you can get notifications you can join in my link to my youtube lives that i'm doing as well and so you know, hit that subscribe button and hit notifications so thank you for joining me until next time goodbye